So, this video is all about an amazing exploitable quest that can be used for fast, easy experience. You can literally one-shot endless mobs while flying around at super speed on an overpowered vehicle. Now, because this quest is in Northrend, you'd think this was about an opportunity you could use in Wrath Classic. In fact, this is much more interesting for use in WoW Dragonflight, as we'll see. And that's because quests scale up to 60 in Dragonflight. Now, you'll need to be able to fly to do this, so you'll need to get up to level 30 first, when flying first becomes available. Now, this is a very strong and effective levelling method that is enormous fun. But if you want the absolute fastest and easiest method, the one-click leveling technique on my Patreon is still active. So if you are considering signing up for that, i do so now before that is fixed, and while the 50% Winds of Sanctuary buff is still active. So first, take your character into Wrath of the Lich King Time Walking Mode. That's the Fall of the Lich King option with Chromie, who can be found at your faction embassy. Now head over to the Mage Tower, and once inside, seek out the portal which takes you to Crystal Song Forest, Dalaran. Once in Dalaran, mount up and fly straight over to Ice Crown. Now go to the flying ship that circles around Northrend. There are two of them, one for each faction. Take the quest, it's all fun and games, from Thessarian for Alliance and Kul'Tira Deathweaver for Horde. Now, complete the Shadow Vault questline. It is mostly self-explanatory, but you will want to be careful to pick up the quest from Valen the Flayed at Ufang's Hall while on the quest Shadow Vault Decree. It is easy to miss if you are doing this fast. Having completed the quest Ebon Blade Prisoners, you can get the quest from Baron Silver to the Rise with all due haste to go to Death's Rise. When you reach Death's Rise, you'll get a number of introductory quests, which when completed will give you the option to steal a griffin. Turn this in and you get access to this amazing super-powered griffin vehicle. The griffin has a number of abilities with which you can attack the Scarlet Crusaders in Onslaught Harbour that are also riding griffins. The ranged ability Frosty Breath is the one you'll probably think to use first. In fact, this one should be almost completely avoided because it does comparatively little damage and is extremely clunky to the point of absurdity. The only reason you should use Frost Breath is to aggro Onslaught Griffin Riders who are flying away from you. The most powerful ability, and the one you'll be using most, is Plague Strike. This literally one-shots the Onslaught Riders. The one disadvantage to this ability is that it only works in melee range, and that makes it very easy to fly past your target and not engage properly. The way to make sure this doesn't happen is to fly straight at an Onslaught Rider and wait the fraction of a second in which they turn towards you. That means they've engaged you in combat and your Plague Strike should work. The third ability is Bone Armor, which increases your damage and reduces damage taken. Don't worry about this too much, you are practically invincible on your Griffin vehicle and you one-shot everything with Plague Strike, so the extra damage has little use. The fourth ability, Speed Burst, is really important as it increases flying speed by 100%. It is advisable to keep this up at all times, as the speed with which you engage mobs dictates how much experience you'll get. So, to summarise the strategy, you will primarily be flying into close range of the Onslaught Griffin Riders and one-shotting them with Plague Strike. Whenever possible, kill two of them with one strike as this saves a lot of time, but doing this is more luck than skill. To maximise your experience gains, you'll need to use the speed boost as frequently as possible. There's an annoying glitch which occurs periodically with the Griffin, where attempting to descend stops working, but it is very easy to fix. Just press the spacebar to gain a little height, and then you can descend normally. Note that you'll want to dismount before you log out, the reason being that if you log out while on the Griffin, this counts as logging out on a vehicle, which will transport you to the nearest graveyard, which in this case is quite some distance away in Jotunheim. 
Now, how fast will this level you up? As you can see, pretty fast. TLDR, faster than questing, and other forms of more straightforward leveling. The exact numbers were very little, as there is some skill involved here. I was getting significantly more XP after doing this for an hour or so than when I started. If you have drafted the 10 lands, war mode on and rested XP enhanced with heirlooms, you can do this at 5 minutes per level or maybe even faster. So this is an excellent option if you are not doing this in one continuous sitting. It is also much, much faster than anything if you don't have full heirlooms, since you don't need any gear to do this, and levelling normally without heirlooms is absolute torture. Without rested XP, this is still pretty fast. You can go from 30 to 60 in two and a half hours or so. It is possible to level faster with highly optimised questing, but it takes you at least 100 hours or so to get that good at questing. Also, if you have an organised dungeon group, you can do it that fast, but that requires you to have guildies you can depend on who can boost you. As I said at the start, this isn't quite the fastest exploit-based method to level up with. There is a one-click method, even faster than this one on my Patreon, which is still active. If you want to level up multiple characters and were considering trying that, I'd do it right now while the Winds of Sanctuary buff is still active. As a fun easter egg, I've added some micro text to the main body of this video. That contains random nonsense, useful advice and possibly some interesting exploits. Enjoy trying to find it.